Now the hand of the Lord was upon me in the evening. Ezekiel 33, 22. In the way of judgment, this may be the case, and if so, be it mine to consider the reason of such a visitation and bear the rod and him that hath appointed it. I am not the only one who is chastened in the night season. Let me cheerfully submit to the affliction and carefully endeavor to be profited thereby. But the hand of the Lord may also be felt in another manner, strengthening the soul and lifting the spirit upward toward eternal things. Oh, that I may in this sense feel the Lord dealing with me. A sense of the divine presence and indwelling bears the soul towards heaven as upon the wings of eagles. At such times, we are full to the brim with spiritual joy and forget the cares and sorrows of earth. The invisible is near and the visible loses its power over us. Servant body waits at the foot of the hill and the master spirit worships upon the summit in the presence of the Lord. Oh, that a hallowed season of divine communion may be vouchsafed to me this evening. The Lord knows that I need it very greatly. My graces languish, my corruptions rage, my faith is weak, my devotion is cold. All these are reasons why his healing hand should be laid upon me. His hand can cool the heat of my burning brow and stay the tumult of my palpitating heart. That glorious right hand which molded the world can new create my mind. The unwearied hand which bears the earth's huge pillars up can sustain my spirit. The loving hand which encloses all the saints can cherish me. And the mighty hand which breaketh in pieces the enemy can subdue my sins. Why should I not feel that hand touching me this evening? Come, my soul, Address thy God with the potent plea that Jesus' hands were pierced for thy redemption, and thou shalt surely feel that same hand upon thee which once touched Daniel and set him upon his knees that he might see visions of God.